If you run a blog or even a YouTube channel and you are not cloaking your affiliate links, then the chances are you're leaving money on the table. Not to mention the fact that you're likely giving your users a suboptimal user experience by leaving them to look at weird looking links with lots of random characters in them. This video is going to show you exactly how to cloak your affiliate links for free. All you need is a simple website set up on WordPress and a free plugin. And don't worry if you haven't got a website already, as I've got a fix for that at the end of this video. Hey there affiliate schoolers, and a big welcome if you're here on this channel for the first time. Please consider subscribing if you love all that is affiliate and SEO. Now, when it comes to link cloaking, we have a few options available to us. One option is that we can use a generic link shortening tool such as bit.ly. However, that is going to leave us with still a pretty ugly looking link. So my preferred option is to go down the branded route where we use our domain or our website to create that link for us. There are quite a few benefits to cloaking using a domain. And one of these is that we can make the links no follow, which particularly if you're placing these links on your affiliate website, then that's going to be beneficial from an SEO point of view. You're also going to be able to track the link clicks, which is pretty useful. And you're also going to foster more trust. And this applies wherever you're placing the links, whether it's on a website, on YouTube, in your social media profiles because the link is going to look branded. There are two top options to choose from, in my opinion, and these are Pretty Links and Thirsty Affiliates. Now, I'm going to be showing you the latter today because that's what I use on all of my affiliate websites. It gives you loads of functionality straight out of the box on the free version. Yes, you do get added functionality such as geo-targeting in the paid version, but for most people, and particularly people who are just getting started with this, the free version is going to give you more than enough. It's also really easy to set up Thirsty Affiliates so that you don't violate Amazon's terms of service. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about there, you're definitely gonna to wanna to watch this video because you could be about to violate those and put your account at risk of closure. Now, before I jump in and show you exactly how to set up Thirsty Affiliates and how to use it with best practice, I just want to very briefly discuss the different types of links and you're going to need to know this when you're setting it up, whether you're using Thirsty Affiliates or Pretty Links. So it's just to understand that the, what the link cloaker essentially does is to redirect the link to your affiliate link. So we do need to be careful when we're dealing with redirects on our website. Now there are three different types of redirect. We have a 301 redirect, a 302 redirect, and a 307 redirect. Now the only two we're really gonna focus on when, we, when it comes to cloaking our links for affiliate websites is a 301 or a 302. They, they would be the two that you would use. Now, 99% of the time I use a 302 redirect, which is classed as a temporary redirect. Now the reason for this is that sometimes our affiliate links will change or we'll want to change the landing page that we're sending the link to. So if we use a 301 redirect, that's classed as a permanent redirect and browsers may actually remember that link. Uh, and not serve up the, the current up-to-date link. So we want to use a 302 in most cases. The only time you might use a 301 is if you, are, if you know 100% that you're never going to change the destination of that link. So I think we've spent enough time talking about it. Let's jump over to the computer and take a look at how we set up Thirsty Affiliates. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search for Thirsty Affiliates in the plugin section of WordPress and you're then going to install and activate the plugin. Now I've already got that set up on here, so I'm just gonna walk you through the process. It's so, so simple. So if we want to set up a brand new affiliate link, it's really easy. We just click into our Thirsty Affiliates. We click into new affiliate link. Now this is just the free version on here at the moment. So this is what you get. This is all of, all of the functionality that you get with the free version. And let's say, for example, we're going into Amazon and I don't know, let's say, let's say we want to find a push chair that we want to promote. So we'll go to our, our page, we'll go up and, and take our link. We can take the short link, this is what usually what I'll do. And what we do is we pop the name, so Silver Cross 
I'll just call it Silver Cross for now. Now, whatever you use as your title here, it's going to pop that in as your new link. So rather than using this link to send to people, if we hit save, we now have this link to use. And if we take this link here and pop this in to the address bar, it should redirect to that Amazon page. Now you can see here that the URL string is the domain address, followed by a forward slash recommends, followed by the name that you've popped in here. Now, we can make a few amendments here. We can also change our settings down here. We can inherit our global settings, or we can change them directly in these settings here. So we can no follow the link. Now we've already got that set to no follow. We do want to open the link in a new window. That's gonna help from a conversion point of view. And I do want to have this as a 302 redirect. Now, if we want to go in and look at the, the settings, we've got plenty of settings in here again, you're going to want it as a link. Everything pretty much is set up by default. These blocked bots are just going to, they're going to block most search engines from following the links, which again is what you want. We've also got it set to no follow. So you, you just double, you doubly covered there really. So everything on that page should be absolutely fine and, and set up as you need it. The link appearance, we can change this here. So you can set a custom link preference. The popular ones that people tend to use are recommends and go. But if you want to change that, you can. And again, that will just change the, the, the appearance of that link. I wouldn't suggest that you include the category in there. And then this is where we can make our changes to the type of link. Like I say, typically you're going to go with 302. We do want to use no follow links. We do want to open in the new window and that's all set up and good to go. But it's not that simple because if you are promoting Amazon Associates, it's actually in their terms of service that you're not allowed to cloak links. Yes. <laughs> yes, you're not actually allowed to cloak links with Amazon Associates. So should you even bother using Thirsty Affiliates? Well, I still do. And the reason for that is it's going to, you're still going to get the malware protection, which means that it's going to be harder for someone else to hack your affiliate links and redirect to their own. And also you're getting all of the tracking information and the click information. However, you do need to make some changes to your thirsty affiliate. So I'm going to show you how to do that on the computer now so that you don't violate those terms of service. So what we want to do is we want to go in and create a link category and give it its own individual settings. So what we're going to do, we can just call this Amazon and everything else can be uncategorized or you can just change that to everything else, whatever you want it to be. So we're going to add this new category. So now we've got this Amazon category in here. Now what we want to do is we want to head over to modules and click on uncloak links and save changes. And now we can come back to the link appearance page and head down to the bottom where it says select category to uncloak and we're going to select our Amazon category and hit save. Now what we're going to need to do is when we create our affiliate links or if we've already got affiliate links created, we're going to want to go back over to our Amazon ones. So in this case, we go back to our silver cross. We're going to click on edit. and we're going to change the category here from uncategorized to Amazon. And now we can still use this link here on any page on our website, but when it appears, it's not going to appear as the cloaked URL. It's actually going to appear as the original link, which again is why we want to use the Amazon shortened version rather than the big long string. So there you have it. It's really super simple to set up. I've put a link in the description down below to Thirsty Affiliates, so you can use that. That is an affiliate link. If you do end up buying the paid version, I will get a commission. So thank you for that. However, you probably only need the free version at least to get going anyway. Now I promised you, if you don't have a website, I was gonna help you out with that. So you've got two options here. You can go for the quick and easy option, which is to use something like bit.ly. I wouldn't use that personally or you can set up a, a website yourself. It's really quick and easy to do. I've got a tutorial guide, again, which I will link in the description below, showing you how to do that. 
you can just head over to the Affiliate School website, get the, get the tutorial, and it's a one hour tutorial, but to get to the point where you can set up a, a thirsty affiliate link, it's probably gonna take you about half an hour in all honesty. So it's not a massive amount of work for probably a lot of benefit. And if you enjoyed watching this video, why don't you watch this video next that talks about my top SEO tips for 2022. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and good luck with your affiliate journey.